my bad. I didn't think we were recording there for a minute. Gotta say, uh, this is another One Life to Live video. I had to make one Friday. I had to make one yesterday. Today's Tuesday. Uh, uh, but it's been so disappointing, all One Life to Live. It was so sad. Um, kind of went like Gigi was still around, or, you know, you thought it was Stacy. Then he sees the waitress, and she looks like Gigi, and we all know Gigi's past. I was insensitive people. But, um, oh, I was actually one of the few saps that was thinking Gigi was still alive, and Clint gets somebody else's heart, and she was on some kind of machine still in a coma that I had to show a picture of somebody else in, like, some plant or whatever. I don't know what the heck it was. Ah, damn tease. I mean, because even if it showed her them pulling the heart out of her, you never know what story they're going to come up with. And, ah, I just, right at the edge of my seat, had me. I'm still on that whole Rex GG thing. They're taking a whole spin with that. Now that the Todd thing is resolved, and we all know who the real Todd is. And they're starting to fit into their lives. The pieces are starting to slowly fit into place. They have to do the, the GG thing. But of course, they still have the Liam uh, thing to roll back on between John and Brody, which I'm sure that's going to be an interesting story for a couple more weeks at least. Because while they're trying to circle this whole tape thing, you know, what was on it when GG found it, trying to circle this whole. Um, whole aspect of that, that that's all going to come out in one big freaking cluster. <laughs> but, um, yeah, still waiting on all that. Uh, damn. Really funny stuff. Still waiting on uh, David's new movie. Dorian uh, going into politics. All that. <laughs> Still waiting when John's going to figure out that Liam's his son. I meant, <clears throat> yeah. But yep, that whole bit. Like, you know, anyone else out there still thought Gigi was alive. Maybe maybe we all cross our fingers and send in letters to, like, make some weird storyline where Gigi's still out there. No. No use. Yeah, I tried. Anyway, some of us have to learn to press on, even when things don't go our way. Because as sad as it sounds, man, um, I wouldn't know what everyone else will. Everyone else is about the GG thing, because I'm still secretly hoping they bring GG back. Um, the whole Todd situation. Had the other Todd actually been the real Todd and Scarface Todd been the fake Todd, I'd have been, like, actually, like, kid hissy fit for a couple of weeks watching the show. Like, yeah, what are they going to do now? Which, which seems kind of bad, but that's my bad personality, I I get mad over stuff and fuss over it. So I want to know who you thought the real Todd was and why, what clues or what this. Even no one mock anybody if they're wrong because I didn't even give the other Todd a chance. I wouldn't even go with the reason. I was just going with I like the dude with the scar better than I like the other Todd. No, he's a good Todd, but I like the other Todd better. So I went with him the whole time. This is coming from me, who I still think Gigi's alive. Uh, Clint's gone crazy, and, uh, Rex and him have to sort a whole lot of things out. I think, um, an episode ended with him going out into the living room, and oh, Rex was in there. Spotted Pony, seeing Gigi, all that crap. So, consensus of today, the, the questions, what do you think they're going to do with this whole Gigi thing. Is she still alive? Is she past? Is it Stacy? Is Stacy around? What's going on with that? Why is she using Gigi's name really in the strip club? I mean, was she genuinely surprised that Gigi was past or wasn't she? What's going on with that? Uh, Clint and Rex, what's going on with that? And of course, Back to the thing that hasn't shown in a couple of days, so out of sight, out of mind with some people, but I'm still pondering it because I don't conclude anything all set until I actually see it. Uh, Destiny and her baby, is she definitely going to keep it or is Little Tramp going to abort the baby? And yeah, it's just my point of view. I mean, maybe it's because I was raised Catholic. Well, not raised Catholic, but a lot of my family members are Catholic. I got Irish. I got um, Sicilian, which are Catholic all the way through. And then, of course, the limey side, which is English, which is, 
I don't like my limey relatives. Anyway, which is um, Presbyterian. So either way, a lot of religion, so maybe it's just that point of view on it. Or popping, my dad popping in when I was a kid that it's, I can't, I can't, you know, I, I could hit a guy, but I, just, I can't smack a kid, even if the kid stabbed me. I just, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> oh, could you hold that? Thanks. I need a gauze or something for that. I, I just, it's not in me. I can't do it. So that's why I'm so hard on others for it. But what is your point of view on the on the whole abortion thing? What do you think she's going to do? Um, is uh, Nora and are Nora and Bo going to raise uh, Destiny's child? And of course, the second part to that question: Do you think it's going to be a boy or a girl? And what do you think the name of the boy or girl is going to be? Name a boy or a girl. Uh, put names for both. If you you know if you don't want to say whether it's going to be a boy or a girl, you just want to think of a name or something. Ah, always fascinates me. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Any uh, other questions you have to say about the show? Post down below. Maybe someone else knows. Maybe I know. Who knows? Uh, you want to chat about it? Hit me up with a message. I pretty much check every day or every other day. So hit me up um, down there with a comment. Hit me up in a message or and I know this is going to sound bad. I am your number one stalker at gmail.com. That's my email address. If anyone wants to chat it up about One Life to Live, I pretty much check that every other day too. So that's all. Have fun.